Hey guys, my name is Mimi and welcome to Once Upon a Timeline. Uh, this is a Unity, a Unity game off of Game Jolt. Uh, so glad that my Unity engine is still working. Um, if you notice, the <laughs> the background, I mean, I know that you can't see my mouse or anything like that, which is uh, which is fine, which is normal, I expected that, but if you notice my background, this is uh, one of my favorite pictures, like scenes, I guess, from The Last Unicorn. If you haven't watched it, you should look it up, it's awesome. Anyway, let's go. I'll click and move to interact with things, exit time machine for escape. Inventory. Choose year with arrows. Okay. My Aunt Jocelyn and I lived at opposite ends of the country. She was my last living relative, and I kept in touch by writing to her as often as possible. Without fail, she'd write back. She was a brilliant scientist, and her letters hinted at things that I could hardly believe, all written in an excited scribble that I could barely understand. One day, she stopped writing back. What? <sighs> Anybody home? Aunt Jocelyn? Oh no, this can't be. Who could do this? My aunt's journal. I could I should read this. It may hold some clues. Bang bang bang. Whoever is in there, open the door right now before we break it down. I'm not opening that door. I must find somewhere to hide. I know a good place to hide. In the time machine. How about that? How about, what year is it now, I wonder? Uh, oh, it's 1954 now, so we are going to go... I wonder how far we can go. To 2022 is the farthest we can go. So I wonder what this is. 1946, I have to, te I have to teach for the next six years to afford it. But I finally found the perfect home for myself and my work. 1953, that's a big jump. Eureka, an incredible breakthrough. A practical application cannot be more than a year away. Okay. So... Uh... Okay. Oh, eggs. So is there any way that I can go? No. Oh, oops. Uh, well, I don't have another thing, so... How about we go back to 19... what was it? 56? Escape. 
I can't believe it. Everything you said in your letters about the time travel, it's... You're alive. What? Oh, hello, nephew. Where did you spring from? Aren't you a little old for hide-and-seek? What? Aunt, I came in that machine from... Very good, child. You've been listening to your crazy old aunt's stories, and now you're deciding to pull my leg, huh? It's very nice to see you, dear, but I told you how busy I was. I really have no time for this. But, Auntie, you were laying there on the floor. I was in this room. Somebody was trying to break the door down. Please stop. I'm at a crucial stage in my work. I'm far too busy for this nonsense. Give me another few years, my lad, and I promise you'll be able to live out your make-believe for real. She doesn't believe me. Nephew's notes. My aunt's incredible time machine allows travel through time. I found her dead in 1954 and alive again in 1953. However, she does not believe my his my story. Oh, can I bring her an item from the future as proof? Sure. Let's go to the future. Uh, how much of the future are we talking? Let's try just a couple of years. Maybe not just a couple of years. Oh, maybe. Dang. Okay, well, not a couple of years. How about something cool? Something like... Let's go to 86. I was born in 86. I think those people were there in 86. There we go. Okay, escape. Looks like some kind of body armor. I'd best not take that while he's watching me. He might get violent. What on earth? I don't know where you've come from, but you can go back there and leave us alone. Don't make me hurt you. Don't you touch our things. Get the hell out of our home. Alright, so... Is there a year? Let's try 93... 94. No. 96. 98. 2002. Okay, back up two years. Maybe one year? Here we go. I can. I can't take a TV. Okay, maybe one, oh, yeah, one more year. Oh, but they're still here. Okay, well then maybe I'm going the wrong way. I will go... They were there in 86. I think they were there in 83 also. 81? 79 77 Well, darn it. Uh, nothing for me to take, so how about we go ahead and go past where they were? Did I say that they were still there in 2000? Oh, wait, no, that was... Yeah, they, they're here in 98. So I can't take anything from there. 
Here we go. Escape. Talk to this hobo. Excuse me, you're not going to believe what I say, but I come from the past. I've seen plenty of strange things in my years. I can't think of a better explanation for you appearing in that. You're not afraid of me? I'm afraid for you. That thing looks old. My great grandpa used to live in this house when I was still when it was still standing. That was nearly a century ago. He was driven mad by drink, but gee, I'm sure I could use a drop. I sure could use a drop. Oh no, so I have to find him booze. Urgh. The vagrant mentioned that his great grandfather, a drunk, lived in this very site a hundred years ago. So in 1910. I didn't even think about going back. I don't know why I didn't think about going back. Maybe because the thing said I should go to the future. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and talk to this guy. Sorry, I was deep in thought. I'm laying out the plans for a house on this site. I can't make my mind up whether or not this area should be one large room or two. Two sets of plan plans for the house on this site. One with a large single room and one with two rooms. I keep on wanting to, and I can't, like, push any buttons or anything like that, I don't think, except for escape. I'll go back, or forward a few years, a few more years. Why is it taking so long for them to move their furniture in? There is a bottle of booze, it looks like, right there. I can trade this for that strangely dressed man in the future. Hey, Gad, yeah, darling, do you see what I see? This is some kind of apparition? Don't worry, dear, I fear the wine may be a little too strong. Ignore it, and I'm sure it'll go away. I guess it, I wouldn't believe it if I saw me either. Alright, so he was in the year 2016. Right? Oh, it didn't say. It didn't say. Okay, that's fine. 2016. And the whole time this thing is here, people are thinking, oh, it's a furnace. Oh, whoops. Go back to that vagrant. Hi, you remember me? I, I don't feel too good. How about I trade you that phone for this bottle of wine? Sure, I need a drink. I wonder what my aunt will make of this. So, 1954? 
53. I'm liking this game. I like the, uh, the mechanic of this. It's a search and find kind of thing. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, take this. Listen to me carefully. What? Oh, hello, nephew. Where did you spring from? Aren't you a little old for hide-and-seek? I wasn't hiding. I traveled here in that machine of yours. I present this device to you as proof. Apparently, this is a telephone from the future. I took it from a man living in the next millennium. This is incredible. My machine works! This proves everything I say I've been saying all along. Those fools. Those idiots at, at the home office. Your life is in danger. In 1954, someone will kill you right here in this room. That's wonderful. A perfect test for my contraption. And you will be my guinea pig. My life is in your hands. Can you change the timelines and rescue me? Or you can change the timelines and rescue me. That's not a question. That's a say yes. You can do this. When did you say all this happens? In 1954? You'll need to make a study of the crime scene. Now, you may need some cover. That machine is a lot larger than this device you brought to me. When I took possession of the deeds of this house... I do recall seeing something regarding an alternate room layout. In truth, it's partly why I built the machine over in that corner. A little forward thinking, if you will. Now, what year was this house constructed in? Oh, my mind... My memory fails me. It was in 1910. Boom! set of plans shows the house having two sets of room two separate rooms I'm sorry I'm going to destroy the original plans maybe I can affect the future timeline this way 1954 the scene of the crime I must return here to make a, a detailed study of the events my aunt mentioned that this house was before this house was built, there were plans and for sep. My aunt mentioned that before this house was built, there were plans for a separate room. But when was the house built? So we can go back to 1954. Uh. uh, I'm afraid there will be no compromises. Oh, no. Well, maybe I, I, I couldn't have even gotten out. My knife is in your hands. Looks like he shot her in the head. In the head. I've discovered that my poor aunt was shot in the head. Can I unearth anything that might protect her? There was body armor, but she didn't get shot in the body. She got shot in the head. So, go in there. Go into 1986. Because that's where the body armor is supposed to be. Right there, right there, right there. Let's get right there. There we go. Looks like some kind of body armor. I best not take it while he's watching me. 
you might get violent. Does he have... What are you talking about? He might get violent. Alright. Well, that's okay because she doesn't need body armor. She needs some sort of a helmet. So, let's go all the way into the future. And I'm going to see if I can find a helmet somewhere. No. Well, let's go into the past, then. How far back can I go? Into 1870- 1873? Okay, well let's see. This is the entire timeline going from front to back. Any sort of helmet, of head covering, of, uh, There's a farmer, there's a- ooh, there's a gun right there! Oh, what was- oh, what year was that? Holy crap buckets! Holy crap buckets, what year was that? Let's go there. Nope, almost there. Right there. Okay, get out. Here's a gun. I'll remove the shotgun shells and the, maybe the farmer won't shoot at me. Oh. Well, I didn't realize that that was a thing. But. Don't you come a step closer. I don't care if you're a ghost or whatever you are. Another step and I'll blow you to pieces. Oh, he's out of ammo. I'm just wanting your shovel, sir. Somebody's been messing with my sh with my shoddy. <laughs> you keep out of that barn, boy. You hear? But I want that. I'm sorry. I just wanted a shovel, and there was something. Back, 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 back that it looks like I can dig that up. And that is the question. Looks like there was an old knight's helmet. Ooh, so she could wear that. Oh, so excited. Okay, now go back to 1954. 53. Yeah. Maybe this will be all that she needs. I found this wonderful medieval helmet in the forest. I think this might help us. That's very nice, but I fail to see how that helps. Just listen to me carefully. Make sure you're wearing this on the date of your murder in 1954. It's very important. Okay, I guess I'll give it a bit of a clean first. <laughs> I'm afraid there will be no compromises. Ha! Oh. Okay, so we, she, he, now he needs the body armor. Okay. Nasty. After the bullet bounced off the helmet, he shot her in the chest. So now... I've discovered that my poor... Oh, no. Uh, the knight's helmet did its job. But the scoundrel then shot her in the chest. She needs further protection. Alright, so then...
Well, she needs that. Is there... They can't see me behind this wall. I'll take this armor. This thing would stop the bullet. Fifty... Four... Fifty... Fifty-three? Fifty-three. Fifty-three, yeah. Fifty-three. Fifty-three, yeah. Fifty-three. 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 I think you're going to need it. I think I'm beginning to understand what's happening here. Don't worry, trust me. With the time machine, I think I can figure this out so that no harm comes to you. Okay, I'll make sure I'm wearing this vest on that day on 1950 in 1954. Right, let's see. So look at that getup. I'm afraid there will be no compromises. Oosh. Oh, it didn't work. Click, click. You'll see me again. Okay, now get out. You did it, I, I think. Uh, that was it, right? It's all over now? Yes, let's just get out of here. Congratulations, you saved your aunt. Oh, that was a cool, a cool game. I liked it a lot. You know, I, I kind of hope that there's another part coming. Um, I don't know exactly how, I don't know how, how long ago this game was made, but I really hope that there's another part on its way. Um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I just can't. This game makes me kind of happy. It makes me smile. So, <laughs> anyway, if you liked it, click the like button down below. I'll make sure that in the description below, uh, there is a link to where you can find this game so you can play it for yourself because, I don't know, maybe there's other things that I just didn't do. Maybe there's other things you can pick up. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.